I missed you the first time I got wasted. I missed you the first time I went out in my new car. I especially missed you after my first kiss. <laughs> okay. Got the painters in, riding the crimson wave on the rack. Is life passing you by at your special time of the month? Try and carry me the all new recyclable menstrual cup. It's economical. <laughs> One cup will last a lifetime. It's green. You won't contribute towards landfill. <coughs> Always wash thoroughly after use. Did someone snigger then? Are we in my classroom? Insolence from the person sat right in front of me. Even if somebody was suspicious of you being there, they're not going to see anything to you. They're not going to come up to you and be like, who are you at this funeral? They just want to like, cause a scene, you know, and even if they do, I've got some prepared answers, you know. So someone might come up with us and might go, so uh, what was your relationship with them? And I'll see. I'm still doing much better than my mum. I've got college and I'm not pregnant, unlike her. She had me when she was 15. Hiya. There is Chelsea, dickhead. No, call me back later, I'm watching my wedding. A devout Catholic woman should never have married a biology teacher if she was going to stick her heels in about Adam and Eve. But that's my mother, illogical. And my father, insufferable, as she still calls him. Oh no, darling, you don't want to use a Tupperware box for donations. It's vulgar. Vulgar. I'll tell you what's vulgar. This is vulgar. An adult in a prepubescent dress. <laughs> you want pigtails? I'll give you fucking pigtails here. Look. Oh no, darling, it's alright. You don't want you to wear black. That's bollocks, right? I'll tell you what. My dad <coughs> never even wanted me. He christened me George in the hope that one day I'd sprout a penis. <laughs> <laughs> And open doors. Dave comes in with his uh, new patient. And this is uh, Phillips. Now, um, you know, Dave is not exactly full of the uh, joys of spring at the best of times, but I can tell by his expression that this is Phillips. She's not going to last. But, Dad, I said, I've got better things to do with me time. And he said, like, what? I said, look, I've got your fresh parsley in the septic tank. He just looked at me and said, Ruby. Your grandma needs her prescription, she'll die without it. Die? Actually die? That's what he said. He's always been that good. Dear Clit, here's ten pounds. Back in the morning, I thought, Mum. My dad said I was named after a racehorse, but my mum sits in the crib. Shot it afterwards. <laughs> Indeed, great lengths have been taken to ensure I would not attend. Yet, here I am. A wife should be at her husband's funeral. This is a day for me to express the gratitude I feel to him for allowing me to share his life for what was an unforgettable three and a half months. Veronica Hare and Candice. Still smiling as everything went silent. Happy because I was faster than you this time. The winner of tonight's show is Samantha Edwards. <laughs> Everybody loves her. Everyone at uni loved her as well. That's sort of how we met. 